Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lift and Shift Dev channel. So today we're going to talk about really basic and also confusing topic about SVG, which is viewport and viewbox concepts. So let's get dig into it. The definition of SVG viewport is the visible canvas area that you can see SVG elements. Anything outside of this of the viewport canvas, you can not see the elements if the element is like outside of it. So if you imagine the SVG viewport is a window of your house, you can only see things within that window frames. Any thing that outside that window frame you cannot see it is not feasible for people to see and svg viewports behave just like that and here you define svg viewport by using the width and height of the svg tag so here I define svg viewport of 600 by 300 pixels and is color with the blue color in the cartesian plane that i draw we got 600 wide and 300 pixel down. So this is does this blue rectangle which is represent our viewport. And by default, the, the viewport start at the top left corner and is stretched um, 600 pixel and 300 pixel down. And same thing here. I have a rectangle which which the top left corner is at the Zero, 00 origin point which is the top left corner of this Cartesian blank and the width and height is 200 pixel each so basically it's a square and this color as with a yellow color as you can see in the picture and here you can see this rectangle within the viewport because it's lined right within the viewport here so it's still visible for the user to see what if I move the rectangle 500 to the right so basically the top left corner of this rectangle is at 500 right here and the width is 200 right but here we only see the 100 pixel width because the other half of this rectangle is actually lying outside the viewport so you can only see half of this rectangle within this viewport if you remember the window concepts that I, that I talked about uh, at the start of the video, it's just like that. If anything lies outside of that window frame, it's not feasible. Same things here for this yellow rectangle. I hope that makes sense and that I hope that explains the viewport of SVG concept well. If you guys still get confused, please leave a comment. And now we're moving on to the concept of viewbox. So the definition of viewbox is easier to see via examples. I'm gonna give you a couple of example, and then you can really understand how the viewbox works. So by definition, the viewbox uh, consists of four numbers: the x and y, the width and height. The way you define viewbox is on SVG tags, and by default, the viewbox um dimension is exactly the same as the SVG viewport and right here I just keep the viewbox uh default uh number which is it matches the SVG viewport of 600 pixel width and 300 pixel height and the top left corner xy is also at the top at the origin of the Cartesian blank right here so basically you still can see the rectangle inside because the view box is the same as the view port dimension. However, if I make this view box with its 300 and height is 150, so basically the dimension of the view box here is just half of the of the SVG view port. So the view box area is rep is represented as a dotted line rectangle as you can see on the diagram because this view box is so much smaller than the viewport so what SVG does is it's gonna get this view box and then it stretch 
so basically anything inside of this view box is going to be feasible for the user however this view box is so much smaller than the viewport so SVG is going to stretch and uh, stretch this uh, view box to match this viewport so basically you can see the rectangle yellow rectangle get get increase in size to because this section here is going to be zoom zoom in to match the viewport so this dotted rectangle become it's going to fool all the viewports to become this remember this blue rectangle was our, our viewport so this behavior just like a google map box the view if you play with google maps before you can zoom out and zoom in uh, a certain section on the google map and this behave exactly like this exactly like that so let me let me repeat again so this is our view box and this view box contain the visible area and because this view box is smaller than the viewport so svg gonna scale up this view box to match the dimension of the viewport so this section gonna get enlarged to become this same thing for zoom out using svg view box so i got this example here this view box width and height this view box width and height is 50 percent larger than viewport and the view box area is denoted as a dotted line rectangle as you can see the view box is so much larger than the viewport so every cheek what svg does is gonna like this uh, scale down this um, view box area to match the viewport area so it's going to create a zoom out effect to make so the svg is going to become like this so as you can see after scaling down the view box to the viewport the yellow rectangle is not 200 pixel like its original is because it's decreased the size by 50 percent now it's around 150 by 150 so this create a zoom out effect and and as you can see view box can help to scale up and down the content of svg by create a zoom out and zoom in effect i hope my content help you guys understand more about svg view, viewport and view box thank you guys if you like the video uh, please leave a comment and give my video a like and subscribe to my channel thank you